Hi everyone. Today I'm excited to present an executive level summary of MITRE Caldera, along with a high level demonstration of its capabilities in executing adversary playbooks automatically. This session is designed to talk about the core benefits of Caldera and showcase its simplicity and power in automating these adversary simulations without diving too deeply into the technical intricacies of the tool. So let's begin with a broad overview of why Caldera might be of interest to you. Caldera is a tool that was developed by MITRE that enables the automatic execution of realistic adversary activities on your network in order to assess your ability to protect, detect, and respond to those threats. So you can think of it as an automated offensive security assessment. It has built-in playbooks, but you can also easily create custom playbooks that are tailored to your environment. And then after the execution of that playbook is complete, you can review the results and make the necessary changes to your defensive architecture to enhance your overall security posture. The tool runs with minimal hardware requirements, it offers fully dynamic operations, and maybe best of all, it is completely open source and completely free, accessible to anybody on GitHub. So let's talk about some of Caldera's core use cases. One of the main use cases that we see with Caldera is the development and testing of defensive detections and analytics. So by running an adversary playbook, you can observe which alerts are triggered and what logs are generated, and that then allows you to create analytics that can automatically detect and respond to these activities. Additionally, Caldera is valuable for evaluating the effectiveness of your defensive products and tools that exist within your ecosystem. It allows you to validate that your existing tool set is configured correctly and functioning as expected because a lot of the time these tools are set up without uh, any verification process to determine if it will actually fire off against the threat that you think it will fire off against. And that ends up burning you in the long run because you thought that you were protected against this attack when you really weren't. So Caldera helps you to ensure that your defenses are robust and reliable. Additionally, it also aids in the assessment of potential tools that you are considering for your environment. So, you know, whether you have an open source solution that you're looking at, or maybe a free trial version of a tool from a vendor, you can put these tools through the ringer with Caldera before you actually decide whether or not you want to add them to your security stack. Another significant use case with Caldera is training for both the blue and red team. So red team members might, you know, study the adversary playbooks within Caldera, uh, review the abilities, get an understanding of existing attack chains that adversaries are performing. But then they can also challenge themselves by creating their own playbooks to uh, test their effectiveness against their intended targets. And then on the blue side, we'll often see teams execute Caldera playbooks and then task their blue team with conducting a post-mortem analysis to determine what actually happened during that attack. Now, there's also some additional benefits like, you know, um, prototyping new research ideas. So, for example, after a lot of research went into operational technology, we determined that Caldera would be a great tool for also emulating OT attacks alongside our fleet of IT-based attacks. And then you'll also see Caldera set up in a lot of cyber ranges. This lets other people get their hands on the tool and start performing their own assessments and their own types of analysis against different infrastructure. Now, let's discuss why Caldera is a compelling choice compared to a manual hands-on keyboard assessment. So first and foremost, as we all probably know, adversary emulation and red team operations are very costly and they are also very time consuming. By the time you actually conclude negotiating your contracts, scoping the work, conducting the assessment, writing the report, making the enhancements to your defensive tool set, and then performing the remediation testing, you might have already gotten breached. The results of these manual assessments will also vary based on the expertise of the personnel involved in them. And you also, once the assessment is complete, you'll need to either be able to replicate the assessor's actions to verify that your, remedi your remediation is working correctly, or you'll have to incur the additional cost for further remediation testing. And then the design phase also contributes to that overall cost and time investment. So if you plan on doing extensive cyber threat intelligence research before executing your plan, that's going to add more cost and more time. So Caldera addresses these challenges by reducing the cost of running these exercises. So once again, this tool is completely free, but it also 
um, helps to make this less time intensive. So with the pre-made plans, um, they can be executed automatically. You no, no longer need to worry about someone sitting behind the keyboard, typing in all these commands manually. You also no longer need to worry about the capabilities of the team that you hire because you will be relying on the threat and form attacks that are currently within Caldera to be accurate. Remediation testing also becomes as simple as just hitting a button. So you just re-execute the exact same playbook that you ran, and then you can make sure that you know the exact same test is running to check if your remediations are working as you planned them to. And then again with the designs, you know, they can all be edited, they can all be saved, reused, and shared, however you seem fit. Now, before we continue, I do want to emphasize that I'm not suggesting that you eliminate third-party contracts um, for these exercises. Engaging with these external experts offers significant benefits and for many is a regulatory requirement anyway. What I am saying is that Caldera can serve as an excellent supplement to these tests, especially if budget constraints prevent you from doing red team engagements as frequently as you would like to. You also get the benefit with Caldera that it provides full transparency into every step that's executed on your network, every attack it gets logged. And so that would eliminate any concern of the red team's ability to have to recall every single command that they executed on your network. That makes remediation testing much easier. So if you are interested in learning more about Caldera, this slide includes our contact information and also some additional resources such as our website. It includes the GitHub repository that you can go to right now and download Caldera 100% free. It also includes the full documentation on how Caldera works and then also our blog. So with all this being said, let's go ahead and dive into the demo. All right, welcome to the demo portion of this presentation. So like I mentioned um, early on, this is gonna be a very high level overview of Caldera. This is not meant to go into any of the technical details of how Caldera works. We're gonna to try to avoid going into any Caldera specific terminology. This is just a high level overview, what it looks like, what it looks like when it runs, some of the output that you can play around with, and maybe give you an idea of how this could be useful to you and your organization. If you want a more technical breakdown of Caldera and some more details about you know the, the plugins and things like that, there will be more videos for that, but this is just going to be very high level. So when you first log into Caldera, you're going to be brought to this dashboard. We won't spend too much time here. We're going to go directly into the Agents tab. Now, the only thing that you need to understand about Agents is that these are what run on our victim hosts that give us control over them. So in this case, we have this single agent, KNGFNW, and it's currently running on a Linux host right now. And because of that, we can launch commands against this Linux host. It could be uh, Windows, Linux, Darwin, it doesn't matter. But in this case, we just have this one single agent running on one single Linux host. So what are the actual things that we can do against this host? Well, we'll go into the abilities tab here. And abilities are just the attacks and the commands that you can run against that victim host that we have control over. So by default, Caldera has almost 1,800 of them. You can actually expand this number if you install some of the Caldera plugins. Those are also completely free. But just by default, you'll have 1,800 abilities to launch on your victim host. You can also... Uh, categorize these and sort them in different ways and you can create your own abilities but we won't go too much into that in this video but it is a very simple process to create um, your own abilities it's just a GUI window that you fill in but it's cool that we can run these one-off abilities and we have all these built-in commands but that's not exactly the purpose of Caldera the purpose of Caldera is to automate these attack chains and so I'm going to bring you to the adversaries tab here so adversaries are just a collection of those abilities that are put into a logical order that when run in that order will kind of give you the idea of a attack chain that an attacker might actually do on your network. So I actually built one for this demo called demo adversary. And again, all this is is five of the abilities that we just looked at, five of the 1800 abilities 
that are put into a logical order that when run will complete a task. So in this case, the task is exfiltrating data from that victim host. So we're gonna create a folder, we're gonna find files, we're gonna put the files in that folder that we created in step one, we're gonna zip that folder up, and then we're gonna exfiltrate it back to us, back to our Caldera server, where we can look at that data. Now, you can create your own adversaries as well, but we're not gonna get into that. You can also, um, you can add abilities to this if you'd like to create an adversary from scratch using the abilities, but again, um, out of scope for this video. But I do wanna show you now, so we have this adversary, we have this demo adversary that we made. How do we actually go ahead and run it? Well, we'll go to this operations tab right here. So the operations tab is how you actually run these adversaries. So we're gonna press new operation. I'm gonna name it demo. I'm gonna choose the demo adversary that I just um, showed you. And I'm gonna press start. Now you get to this view right here. This view is not super helpful for us right now because we only have one host running. If you had multiple agents running on multiple hosts, this would kind of graph out a network topology for you, but we're not interested in that right now because we only have one agent running on one host. So we're going to get rid of this for now. And what you see happening right now is Caldera is running in real time and it's executing those steps that I showed you in the adversary profile. So creating the staging directory, finding the files, moving those files into the staging directory. And this is moving very quickly. Um, that's just for the purpose of this demo. I have the agent to run these commands very quickly. Um, in a real scenario, this you know maybe be much slower. You might wanna you know, take your time when you're running these commands, but just for the purpose of this demonstration, I have it running very quickly, but you can change that if you need to. Now, within this view right here, we see that we're running these commands. You can see the actual command that's being ran on the victim host. You can see the output. You can see whether it was successful or if it failed. In this case, everything is successful. And so it automatically executed all of those steps with the click of a button. So you can see that we have successfully exfiltrated the staging directory. So cool. So now we have access to the files that we just stole off that Linux host. And we can actually see those here. So if we expand this right here, you can see that we have this KNGFNW. And if you remember, that is the name of the agent that we currently have running on that host. And if we, if we expand it, we can see that we now have that staging directory with all the files in it. So we can actually look at these files, we can download them, and we can see what we just stole from that victim host. The other plugin that I'd just like to touch on really briefly is this debrief plugin. So after you run an operation, Caldera will automatically create a report for you. And so you can actually get that report. So demo is the operation that we just ran. We can download the PDF report. We can select all. And then we can download the report. And then you can see that this report just kind of gives you an overview of what you just ran, what was successful, what failed, what did you collect, what details did you find about the um, host that you just attacked. And then the only other thing that I'll touch on is the training plugin right here. So uh, when you first download Caldera and you're first using it, you might not really know what you're doing. You might not really know how to use the tool. And so we have a built-in training plugin that basically walks you through knowing nothing to knowing a good majority of what you'll need to know to actually confidently run um, Caldera playbooks on your network. Uh, they walk you through step by step. You can get more hints into how to actually um, complete each step. It's a really good guide to walk you through how to actually use Caldera. So that's all I wanna go over in this video. Just wanted to keep it very, um, very light, very um, simple overview of how Caldera works. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.